Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and today I'm going to show you how to edit your robots.txt file in your Shopify site uh, if you need to do anything custom. So by default on a Shopify site, Shopify already sets a robots.txt for you with all the basic things. For example, allow all bots uh, to visit the site, <clears throat> but disallow these, this is the sitemap, and all, the, all these basic things. These are the default, these are typically the best practices that Shopify recommends. But if you have a marketing team that specializes in SEO and you need to do any changes, you can actually change it yourself. So let me show you how to do it. It's really simple. What you're going to do first of all is you're going to go to your back end, you're going to go to themes, and you're going to go to your live theme, the one you want to edit the robot.txt. You're going to click on edit code. And very simply, you're going to go here and you're going to go to templates. You're going to click on add new template and you're going to select the existing templates from the drop down. You're going to click here on robots.txt. And when you do that, you're going to create the template. What it's doing is it's actually creating a template right here, right here for robots.txt. Okay. Uh, and it's right here. And then there's some code that basically this code itself pulls the rules uh, for what Shopify default has. Now you could delete these, you can change it. So for example, let's say I wanted to, just for example, I wanted to disallow, I'm going to go to the end of the file. I want to disallow, for example, the search engines, the robots from coming to a, to a folder, for example, called FAQ, just for example. If I save that, once I save it, I go to my site and immediately I'm going to have all the information, the template, and I'm going to have what I edited here. So now it's up to your marketing team, mostly your SEO team to go and edit with it, whatever they want. If you want to remove all the existing rules from a Shopify, I would just remove them very simply. And then you can see, for example, I just have all of my, all of these. Now, obviously this is an incorrect one, but you would just basically copy and paste the information from your marketing team. Uh, and that's it. And you would go and complete. So I'm going to restore this and I'm going to delete this, go back to the normal. Now, if you did something and you're not sure and you want to go back to default, you can also always just delete it. If you delete this, it'll just use the default one without the file and you can always recreate if you want to do custom. That's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll be making a lot more Shopify videos, e-commerce videos, Magento videos. Please subscribe, click on the bell, and just let, let us know what videos else you would like us to make and how detailed you would like to go. Beginner, advanced, intermediate, very, very custom, very, very niche. We're here to make videos to educate everybody. Appreciate it, guys.